Hello my dear family members, I hope all of you are preparing well for your upcoming Ascent Child exam. Today, I am going to cover one of the most important, one of the most repeated, most asked questions of Accenture and that question was asked from 16th August to till September. Okay, so please give importance to this question because most of the slot having this question or this type of questions okay so let's start with that question so before that just one request please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding any company that you want okay so let's start the question so basically the question was uh question was special fibonacci series special fibonacci series okay fibonacci series okay so in this case what you have to do in the normal fibonacci series if you are given a number 5 then the fibonacci series would be 0 1 and the sum of previous two numbers okay so 1 plus 0 that is 1 1 plus 1 that is 2 2 plus 1 that is 3 and sorry so this is the Fibonacci series normal Fibonacci series for integer 5 okay and for let's say 7 the Fibonacci series uh, normally would be 3 plus 2 that is 5 5 plus 3 that is 8 okay so 3 plus 4 7 okay so this is normal Fibonacci series but in the exam it is being asked by manipulating the uh, normal Fibonacci series okay that is in the special Fibonacci series what they are asking let's say you are given one number 5 okay so what you have to do that is just find the Fibonacci series with this logic that the first three number or first two number anything will be 0 1 1 okay then the third sorry fourth fifth sixth seventh this digit or numbers will be the sum of previous three numbers okay so 1 plus 1 plus 0 that is 2 and then 2 plus 1 plus 1 that is 4 that should be the special Fibonacci series for integer 5 okay and uh, for 7 what it would be let's say for 8 sorry for 8 it would be like uh, 4 plus 2 plus 1 that is 7 okay 7 plus 4 plus 2 that is 13 okay and then 13 plus 7 plus 4 that is 24 okay so this is the special Fibonacci series for 8 okay that means for fn for f n is equal to f uh, i minus 1 plus f i minus 2 plus f i minus 3 this way uh, your uh, special Fibonacci series would be uh, calculated okay and just one thing to remember that is they are asking they are actually giving the definition of special Fibonacci series uh, differently in different slots they can give you like if uh, n is equal to uh, f i minus 1 plus f i minus 3 plus f i minus 5 this way okay whatever the logic is just implement the same logic as you are earlier using for normal Fibonacci series okay so let's start with the java solution and uh, python solution as well so uh, before that let me just clear what should be our logic okay so the, our logic would be like at first we'll initialize one array of integer or let's say long okay then what we will do uh, we will initialize the array with the uh, first three numbers that is 0 1 1 and in the same time we will check if the number is not greater than 0 or the number is negative then we will return minus 1 okay or we will return something else but if the number is greater than 1 then we will have to return 0 uh, 0 or 1 if the number is uh, greater than 1 that means the first three numbers will be 0 1 1 okay so this way we'll keep uh, generating the special Fibonacci series then we'll run a for loop from three index from three index to generate the values and we'll add if i minus 1 if i minus 2 if i minus 3 this way we'll get the uh, get the next Fibonacci number okay so let's start with the logic and uh, solution so that it will be easier to understand okay so before i show you the solution just uh, one request to you if you want the prime materials of accenture in which i have included all the recent questions with answers all technical questions mock test 
coding questions, logical, verbal, all things. If you want, then please DM me at my ID, instagram.com slash techno.uf. Or you can do one thing that uh, just pay 79 rupees using the UPI ID given in the description box and send the screenshot at this Instagram ID. Okay, so let's start with the solution. So at first, uh, uh, just remember that in the um, exam time, you will have the main method already written. You just have to implement the function. Okay, so scanner class, scanner, uh, these all will be already pre-written there. So don't do anything with that. Okay, so at let me just... Uh, clarify it so scanner at first we have to get the user input that's why you are get, taking the scanner class okay creating the scanner object okay new scanner system not in then just uh, just ignore this line enter the number of terms to generate we are getting the user input that is the number n okay scanner dot next int okay this is for integer okay then we are checking the negative scenario that is if n less than equal to 0 if the number is 0 or negative then we will uh, stop the execution okay we will stop the execution and we will give this uh, print statement okay please enter a positive number then we are initializing a uh, array which is a long data type having okay you can just take it as int as well so long series is equal to new long and size is n okay then what we have to do that is we have to initialize three values for the number which is having greater than two okay and here at first we are initializing the value for zero that is series zero is equal to zero i mean the first index value then second index value is one and third index value is also one so we are checking if n is greater than one okay then just print up to 0 and 1 okay and then if the number is greater than 2 then print up to 0 1 and 1 okay so basically here we are doing that n is greater than 2 then we are initializing the second index value as 1 okay so let's go to the for loop part so then we are going from let me just uh, sorry let me just clarify it so 0 1 1 then 2 then 4 then 7 then 13 okay so if the number is greater than 2 if the number is greater than 2 then what we have to do that is we have to run a for loop from i is equal to 3 that is 0 1 2 3 okay index is equal to 3 from 3 third index we have to run a for loop okay so and up to the number n less than n okay and then we are initializing the ith value that means the array i that means array 3 that means the fourth index that actually okay so array i is equal to series i minus 1 that is this i minus 1 then i minus 2 that means this one and then array i minus 3 that is this one will be added okay and that value will be initialized at the fourth position okay then for the fifth position in the next iteration the i is equal to 4 and for the series 4 this is the this is the series 4 uh, value okay so series 4 is equal to series i minus 1 that is this then series i minus 2 then this is series i minus 3 so this 3 will be added and that value will be assigned to this index okay so i hope you guys understood it okay so then we are printing the values okay the fibonacci series okay that is from zeroth index to last index we are printing the values like system.print series i plus this okay uh, we are just taking one space after all the values okay series i so if the number is less than less than 3 if the number is less than 3 then 0 1 1 will be printed okay as we have initialized the zeroth index value one index value then second index value as 0 1 1 that's that's why it should print 0 1 1 if the number is less than 3 okay so i hope you guys understood so let me just run it and check if this is giving right output or not okay so uh, at first uh, for number uh, 8 the output should be 
0112471324 as expected okay and let me just run it for another sample input that is let's say uh five that should be zero one one two four okay as expected so in the normal series in the normal uh fibonacci series what we had to do that is in the normal fibonacci series we had to run from it i is equal to two and uh series i minus one plus series i minus three uh, sorry i minus two that is up to what we had to do and we have to initialize zeroth index and one index value okay so let me just run it for normal fibonacci series okay so for five the output should be zero one one two three as expected like one plus zero that is one one plus one that is two two plus one that is three this way okay so just a little bit uh like manipulation of the code and it, it will get the actual expected output okay so i hope you guys understood so if you guys understood then please subscribe this and share this content with your friends so that they can also take help from this okay so let me just show you the python solution so python solution is also almost same like uh, at first we have initialized the first three index value that is 0 1 1 okay then we are running the follow from third index to sorry i mean from fourth okay actually so fourth to up to the last uh, index then we are appending series dot append we are appending this value at the uh, at each index like at the each iteration that means at the third at the fourth at the fifth up to n okay so series i minus one plus series i minus two plus series i minus three will be added to the next index okay so i hope this is almost similar for, uh, as uh, java but here uh like it is uh there is a inbuilt function append that's why it will it is more easier to understand here okay so then return this series uh that is this is a slicing method uh, in python okay so from first index to last index we are returning nothing else okay so we are returning a list from first index to last index okay then in the driver code we are getting the user input the value of n we are checking if the value of n is greater uh, sorry less than zero or negative then we are giving this else we are getting the value from the uh from from the function okay special frequency series n then we are printing that nothing else okay so this is the join method using that join method we are just concatenating the list value list value with having one space between all the item okay so let me just run it and so if this is giving right output or not for five the output should be this and for uh eight the output should be zero one one two four seven thirteen twenty four okay so these are all i had to show to you and the next question which is very i mean very much repeated that is regarding what longest common subsequence okay and chocolate distribution these type of questions are being asked in the latest type exam okay just focus on like uh, dynamic programming uh, as much as you can okay so i hope you guys uh can crack the exam uh and you'll give give me thanks at the comment section okay so and again if you want the prime materials then please damn me at my study thank you for your session